have asked us to look into a video on YouTube that has millions of views. Two men claim to be exposing inappropriate actions by a sex offender in Amherst and Tonawanda. Now the video is a hoax. Yeah, two on your sides, Michael Wooten has verified information from investigators. He's taking pictures outside Chuck E. Cheese. Right off the top, we can verify this video is not real. Our source is the Amherst Police Department, which says the publisher of the video admitted it was fake. Unfortunately, many of the millions of viewers weren't in on the joke. Here's the backstory. These two guys claim someone asked them to investigate a sexual predator who moved into the North Towns. This man was found with thousands of images of child pornography on his computer, and he also committed an act of assault on a minor. They claim the man only served seven months behind bars, so they wanted to follow him around to find incriminating evidence to send him back to jail. The video shows the man, whose face is blurred, buying Happy Meals at McDonald's, taking pictures pictures of children outside Chuck E. Cheese and with toys in his car. The young men follow the supposed sex offender inside Target. He's in the girl's section, dude. He's in the little girl's section. And they confront him as he leaves. Hey, why were you taking those pictures at Chuck E. Cheese? They claim they turned over their evidence to the man's probation officer. We heard from viewers like this one asking us to look into the matter. People also reached out to officers. Amherst police said in a statement today, these complaints were immediately investigated by the department's special victims unit. The publisher of the video was identified as a 21-year-old Hamburg man. The subject was interviewed and immediately apologized for any alarm, stating the post was for entertainment purposes only and there was no actual sex offender depicted. We can identify the publisher as Parker Hesha-Scary. State records show he's the owner of Luxury Productions, Inc. He's done dozens of videos through his Luxury Pranks YouTube channel, many with Catching a Child Predator in the title. Two of them have more than 10 million views. The video in question, which was removed today, was posted on Parker's new channel called Life of Luxury, notably missing the prank disclaimer. I reached out to Parker via email today but never heard back, and Amherst police did not respond to our request to do an on-camera interview. And now some people will say clearly this video was a prank, what's the big deal, perhaps. But a lot of people thought this was real, that this sexual predator was out there taking pictures of kids, and that's why police did an investigation, and it's also why we did this story today to make it clear to everyone that the video is a fake. Reporting live, Michael Wooten, Channel 2 News.